they don't have an ability to run. Just flat out sprint, let's, get, let's go get it, let's, let's show some pace. Well, he's able to do that. When he was able to then break through those lines and then they're now combining in the attacking half, then we're talking about more of what was going on in the second half of the game where Real Madrid seemed to be in more control than they were in the first half. Regardless, they were still giving up chances. Mm -hmm. Regardless, Courtois was still the man of the match. Yeah. Now, regardless, they still won it. Yeah, that's and, the, and that's yeah. the thing that they're going to care about. Uh, it, so, like, so how did they defend well? I, I, I'm, getting, I'm finding it hard to get my head around it. And the more I think about the game, the more I'm thinking, Liverpool are going to be thinking, how did we not win? You're thinking a lot. How did we yeah. not beat this team? <laughs> when you, when you think a lot. <laughs> how did we not win this game? How did we not beat well, this because team? because you came up... Because you can't, they didn't defend well. If your goalkeeper has a wall there, he plays out his skin, makes two unbelievable saves and three other great saves, how are you defending well? I'm sure it's surely well, that's not... Surely that doesn't... Well, does, is, uh, is it me? Does that add no, I know up? what you mean. <laughs> is it me? <laughs> but I think what we should the goal, say is... The goal is the <laughs> best player on the field, but we defended really well. How's that? I think what, you know, look, Real Madrid, I mean, fair play. <laughs> ah, yeah, I, you know, you've got, you got yeah. Chris and, and Modric. I mean, Chris is younger, but still in his yes. 30s. Modric is 36. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant player. Casemiro does a great job. But there's no legs. There's just no legs in there, right? So I think you've got to give Ancelotti a lot of credit here. Look... Real Madrid have become brilliant at what they do. What they're doing at the moment is not the Galacticos Real Madrid. He's gone in there, you know, from a, a, from a, a, a job at Everton that was going nowhere. I bet he couldn't believe it going back to getting this opportunity. But he's gone in, he's gone, right, we're not going to play like this tiki-taka Man City, the Barcelona. We, we, we can't do it right. with these totally players. Cool, yeah. We cannot do it. We haven't got the legs in midfield. What do you need to do? Keep Benzema on side, get a solid back four, make sure I've got protection in front, work out who my best full backs are. Don't forget Alaba started the season at left back, mm -hmm. right? Then he went back into his preferred position these days at left centre back. How do you get the best out of Benzema and Vinicius Jr.? He's done all of those things. He knows he can't play and he knew he couldn't play some expansive game. But the way they've done it, and some of it's a little bit of luck, and some of it's good defending and great goalkeeping and brilliant finishing. Just clinical. But he's realised that and he's just managed the whole situation brilliantly. Uh, Robbo's been listening to this whole conversation. Robbo, I feel you need a right to reply to what Stevie was saying against you. <laughs> yeah, I heard all what was being said. And, and you know, um, Stevie's right that they did create lots of chances, Liverpool. But I would still say they had some outstanding defenders. I, I, watch, I watch watching Real Madrid more than anything. And Eder Militao didn't put a foot wrong. He won every header. He came out and challenged at the right time. Even when Firmino came on and they were playing with Firmino in behind the main strike, he kept on coming out and making interceptions. He was quick when Diaz ran past Carvajal on a couple of occasions earlier and he got out there and made challenges. I thought Alaba, who was a weakness, I thought, before the game and didn't play particularly well for the first 20, 25 minutes. He made some good tackles. And Mondi had a job to do out on the left-hand side, which was a difficult job because he's been outnumbered for the first, in the first half because Liverpool had three players out there. Henderson was going out there. They were creating a three versus two, and they were getting crosses into the box. And that's one of the reasons they were creating chances. But in terms of their understanding of the game and the way they were able to eventually to control parts of it and play around the pressure and still make chances when they didn't have that much of the ball, I thought, and you're absolutely right, Ancelotti has done a magnificent job with a very average team, in my view. What chances are we talking about here? I must well, have been, they, I must they, have been they had a chance. I, I thought they... Well, well, so well, I thought well, the goal should, should, goal should have stood. They had one shot at goal. I thought the goal should have stood. And they, they had plenty of opportunities when, when... What about when... What about in oh, Sabayas? That, that was the first time they were... There, there, was, there was times when... There was, yeah, there was the times when... goal was the first time they got um, that far up the field. Well, well, and, yeah, then they, and then they only have one shot at goal. Aren't you? That's the problem. Now, you're Liverpool one biased. Shot at That's goal why goal pundits should never be supported. Liverpool biased. I'm sorry about that. How am I biased? You just stood there. You just stood there and said that the goalkeeper was man of the match. He made four or five great saves, but they defended brilliantly. I'm sorry, that doesn't add yeah, up. That's like one and one makes three. Liverpool, Liverpool are more athletic. Liverpool, before the game, I said would win the game because I thought they would be more athletic, they were the better team, and I couldn't see how Real Madrid were going to get out. And that was, to a certain degree, the case. But in the end, when the game became a technical game and it became slower... Kroos got on the ball, Modric got on the ball, Casemiro got on the ball, and then Benzema's one and two touch play with Vinicius Junior at times I thought was brilliant. That's how I saw the game. You might see it differently, that's how I saw the game.
Well, I have to say, well, I, I mean, I don't I, know. <laughs> I'll sort of jump and in. And actually, we're at the game, so I, we can see the whole I, picture. I, so ooh, well, the whole picture, we can see ooh, some of the movement. We're at the game. <laughs> well, <laughs> the way, I think... I'll tell you what, Rob, I'm glad <laughs> it was in there. There, there was two, three times. Let me, let me tell you. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.